Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris here, and in this video, we will be discussing Logify. If you're a vacation rental owner or manager, you know how important it is to have a streamlined and efficient management system in place. And that's where Logify comes in, a comprehensive solution designed specifically for vacation rentals. In this video, we'll take you through the process of getting started with Logify, from creating an account to exploring its features and functionalities. We'll also show you how to create a new rental in Logify. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a better understanding of how Logify can help you manage your vacation rental business a lot more efficiently. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with that tutorial. To begin using Logify, the first step is to create an account, and you will find that link down below in the description. So click on the first link you find there, and this will take you to the correct homepage. When you sign up with that link, I'll send you one of my top-notch, high-quality templates for free, like the Real Estate Tracker template, which is tailored to track every aspect of your real estate portfolio. They're worth over $500, but you'll get all that for free as a thank you for using my link because it's an affiliate link. When you use it, I do get a small commission at no cost to you, so thank you so much for using that. Once you're on the homepage, click on the Get Started button located at the top right side of the screen. This will begin the process of setting up your account. Next, you'll have the opportunity to personalize your account. You can sign up with your email, Google, Facebook, or Apple ID. Choose the option that is most convenient for you. Once you've completed the registration process, you'll be taken to your account dashboard. This is where you'll be able to access all of Logify's features and start managing your vacation rentals. The dashboard is designed to be clean and easy to navigate, providing a seamless user experience. Upon logging in, you'll be greeted with an intuitive interface that allows you to access various features and tools with ease. In this overview, we'll guide you through the different sections of the dashboard, helping you understand what each part does and how it can benefit your vacation rental business. On the top right side of the dashboard, you'll find the option to manage your profile. This is where you can access your account settings, owner information, billing details, and a lot more. This section allows you to personalize your account and keep your own information up to date. Now the left side of the dashboard features a vertical navigation bar with various options that enable you to navigate the different parts of the Logify system. This sidebar provides quick access to key features, making it easy to switch between different sections of the platform. The main home screen, or dashboard, is currently being displayed. This section includes product updates and an account setup guide to help you get started. You'll also see key metrics for the last 30 days, including revenue, occupancy rate, average reservation value, and average price per rental. Additionally, you'll find information on new arrivals, next departures, and currently staying guests. The reservation section allows you to manage all of your bookings and reservations. You can also create new rentals here. This section provides a centralized location for managing your bookings and keeping track of your reservations. The inbox is where you can manage a communication with your guests. You can also create new bookings from this section. This feature helps you stay organized and respond to guest inquiries in a timely manner. The calendar section is divided into three parts, single, multi, and six months. The single view allows you to see your rental calendar, while the multi view shows you rental and availability. The six-month view displays your rental calendar on a monthly basis. You can create bookings and rentals from this section, making it a lot easier to manage your schedule. In the Rentals section, you can create and manage your rentals. This feature allows you to add new rentals, edit existing ones, and keep track of your properties. The PM Modules section stands for Property Management Modules. This feature provides access to advanced tools for task management, collaboration, accounting, rental guides, and pre-check-in forms. These tools are available immediately with the ultimate plan or during your trial period. If you're using the premium plan, you can access these tools now. The Website Builder is a tool that helps you create and manage your property's website. You can choose from various templates and set up your website with a lot of ease. The Channel Manager allows you to manage different booking channels like Airbnb. Link is unavailable for that. VRBO, Expedia, Google, and Calendar Sync. This feature helps you keep track of your bookings across multiple platforms. The Reviews section enables you to track and manage guest reviews. This feature helps you monitor your reputation and respond to guest feedback. The Reports section provides analytics for revenue, channel revenue, guests hosted, occupancy rate, nights filled, reservations created, average price per night, average reservation price, and a lot more. You can filter the date range for your reports, making it easier to track your performance over time. The Marketplace is where you can find and add additional services or features to your Logify account. This section is divided into categories like accounting, cleaning management, distribution channels, 
dynamic pricing, and more. You can find the relevant tools you need and set them up with your Logify account. The settings section allows you to create and manage policies for your vacation rental business. This feature helps you to establish rules and guidelines for your properties, ensuring a smooth experience for your guests. Now, let's see how to create a new rental in Logify. Creating a new rental in Logify is a straightforward process that can be completed in just a few steps. To begin, click on the Rental tab in the top left menu, which will take you to the rental page. This is where you can manage your existing rentals or create a new one. Since we haven't created any rentals yet, we'll show you how to create one from scratch. On the rental page, click on the Create New Rental button at the center of the page. This will lead you to another page with two options, Copy Rental from Airbnb or Create a New Rental from Scratch. We'll choose the second option and proceed. Next, enter the name of your rental and the external name. This is the information that will be displayed to guests, so make sure it's accurate and descriptive. Once you've entered this information, click on the Next button to proceed. In the next step, you'll choose your country, enter your full street address, select your city, and choose your city zip code. This information is important for guests to find your rental, so make sure it's correct. Once you've completed this information, click on the Next button to move on. Now it's time to add pictures of your rental. Upload photos that showcase your place in its best light. You can edit photos anytime in your rental profile and make sure they meet the size requirements. The minimum size is 50 kilobytes and the maximum size is 16 megabytes. And recommended size is 1024 by 683 pixels. To upload, click on the Add Photos button or drag photos to the designated area. Once added, click on the Next button to proceed. Next, choose the number of guests, bedrooms, and bathrooms. You can use the minus button to decrease the number and the plus button to increase it. This information is important for guests to know what to expect from your rental, so make sure it's accurate. Once you've entered this information, click on the Next button to proceed to the next step. Next, you'll need to select the amenities that your rental offers. This is an important step as it helps guests understand what they can expect from your property. You can choose from a range of options, including air conditioning, parking, pets, essentials, general heating, kitchen stove, internet wireless, and washing machine. Simply tick the box next to each amenity that you offer. If you don't want to add any amenities, you can skip this section by clicking the skip option. So we'll click the next button to proceed. Now it's time to set the price per night for your rental. You can set the price in different currencies, but the default currency is the US dollar. Once you've entered the price per night, click the next button to move on to the next step. In this step, you'll need to describe your rental property. Write a quick summary that highlights the main amenities and attractions nearby. This description will be visible on your Logify website, and you can always change it in your rental settings. To make it easy, there's an AI option that can help generate a description for your place. To use the AI option, click on the Use AI button. Once you've generated the description, click the Next button to move to the final step. Finally, you need to choose how you want to accept bookings for your rental. You have two options, Instant Booking or Booking Request. We'll choose the first option, Instant Booking, and click the Next button to finalize the rental. Once you've completed all the steps, you'll have two options. You can either go to the dashboard by clicking on the Go to Dashboard button, or click on the Create My Website button to create your website. We'll click on the first option and go back to our account dashboard. By following these steps, you successfully created a new rental in Logify. You can now manage your rental, add more details, and start accepting bookings. Remember to keep your information up to date and accurate to ensure a smooth experience for your guests. When it comes to pricing, Logify offers a range of pricing plans designed to cater to the unique needs of rental businesses of various sizes. Each plan comes with a distinct feature and benefit, ensuring that businesses can choose the best option for their growth and success. The starter plan, priced at $13 per month and is ideal for small businesses or those just starting out. It includes essential tools such as the customizable booking website, booking engine widget, and channel manager, as well as basic analytics and mobile management capabilities. The professional plan is available at $38 per month. This plan is suited for growing businesses and it helps build upon the starter plan by removing booking fees and adding advanced features like Google Vacation Rentals integration, manual payment collection, and custom automation workflows. The ultimate plan is priced at $59 per month. This plan is the most popular one is ideal for businesses aiming for top tier property management. It includes all of the professional features, plus additional services like priority customer support, chat support, and advanced tools for cleaning and task management. This plan also offers comprehensive owner reports, accounting features, and a digital guidebook mobile app, making it the best option for scaling businesses with advanced property management needs. 
When compared to competitors, Logify's pricing structure offers excellent value for money, especially considering the 0% booking fee on higher plans and the suite of advanced features included. The tiered pricing model ensures that businesses only pay for what they need and can scale up as they grow, without the burden of steep initial costs. This flexibility in plans is one of Logify's strengths, accommodating the varying needs of rental businesses from single property owners to large property management firms. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful in learning how to use Logify. If you want to get started with Logify, you can find the link in the video description to start a seven-day free trial. You'll also receive all of my bonuses for free. And if you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to comment below. And I always do my best to try to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching and take care.